Today is June 13th. On the 13th of June 2000, Italy issues a pardon for Mehmet Ali Acha, a Turkish gunman who in 1981 had unsuccessfully tried to assassinate the Pope, still though managing to shoot him and wound him. Who was the Pope that he had tried to kill? Follow the link in the description of this video to submit your answers and win an amazing prize. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Smarter by the Second. Today I am joined by Jorrit. Hello Jorrit. Nice outfit. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm a little tired, but little I'm tired. feeling well. Okay. Tell in, us my, in, in my very nice polo. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, tell us something about yourself. Or why the outfit, well, uh, for example? Yes. Well, look, I'm the candidate secretary of the 55th board for uh, oh. Abac for Wiskundig Studiegenootschap Abacus. Ah, okay. So that's uh, where, uh, why I'm wearing this beautiful red polo. Ah, nice. And I found this also pretty nice. Yes. So I, I, I found it somewhere yeah, in the embasement around someone's, oh. uh, down around someone's neck. So I thought, hey, ah, why so not have just, a second time? So you just took it. Yeah, it looks ah. good on you. Ah, so uh, good choice. Uh, you uh, choose to compete in science. Yep. Why? Because Jor told me, Jorre, you want you want to participate in Smart by the Second, and I was like, yeah, but what the heck am I going to do? Yeah. And I was like, I could do sports, but that's way too broad in my opinion. Yeah. Not and that uh, science isn't yeah, broad yeah, at all, saying. but I think yeah, maybe I could uh, play a nice game. Well, and yeah. otherwise, yeah, then uh, yeah, I so quit so after so one round, and it was very fun. Well, yeah, I, uh, it's already fun uh, having you here. Thanks. Okay. People come in all different shapes and sizes. For example, Jorn has shoe size 46. Just like that, there are many different molecules, some complicated, some big, but structured, and some very small. Here are nine names of molecules on the screen. And oh then God. we will show the structural formula. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that from chemistry? I hope so. Yeah, were you good at chemistry? Or... Uh, ah. Did you get student tens for uh, chemistry? No, I, I, I did uh, pass chemistry with a decent seven, but ah, okay. I, I, well, I, I wasn't very interested in it. Ah, okay, no more in math here. Yeah. yeah, but there's a big probability I just forgot all of it. No, nah, but, ah, but I think you'll be fine. You need five correct answers. Only you, five? Yes, it's the first round oh. and uh, you also always have three lifelines. Mm -hmm. It costs you 16 seconds. Yes. Well, the Molecules are glucose, methane, crystal meth, water, ozone, hematite, bauxite, alcohol, and propane. Are you feeling confident or? Uh, yeah. I get to see them on the screen? Yeah, you get the structural formula, so. Uh, okay. With the lines and the atoms yes. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, fingers crossed. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's roll then. Oh, that's uh, glucose. That's uh, water. Uh, that looks like alcohol. Ozone. Ooh. You can I guess place, crystal yeah. meth for now. That's um, methane. Uh, oh no, this is methane. Oh no, 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 no. This is propane. Propane, yes. Propane, Don't yeah. change it at all. Uh, ooh. You see that? It says that's, uh, Fe. Yeah. yeah, I think that's uh, oxid. Yeah, and the last one. So, uh, hematite. Yep. Stop the time? Yeah, stop the time. Yeah, you I'll definitely have uh, five correct, but uh, Not we'll nine. see how many they are. Okay, okay, I like your confidence. So, five correct. Yeah. And otherwise, it's a very nice shot. Uh, <laughs> episode yeah, of Smart yeah. by the Second. Well, uh, less work for me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, let's look at the answers. So, this is glucose. Big, uh, you have that correct. And this uh, H2O is water. Also correct. Then we have alcohol or ethanol, also known as. It's correct. Then three 
O's, that's ozone. That's correct. And then here we have uh, crystal meth. Ah, you knew that one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, why, why did you know that one, Jorrit? Yeah. <laughs> I swear they in it. <laughs> okay, and this is uh, methane. You had that uh, correct? Yeah, you had that correct. And then this is propane. Mm. Ah, luckily you didn't switch them around. Nope. I was a little confused with the three and two uh, yeah. items. Yeah, it's fine. And this is um, hem hematite, iron ore. But it doesn't matter. And then yeah, oxide is uh, aluminium ore. Doesn't matter. You had seven yeah. correct. So uh, that's pretty good. Okay. If there was a device that could measure the hype around this quiz, it would explode because the hype is so big. But lucky for us, such a device not, does not exist. Here are nine pieces of equipment used in physics that measure something. So you'll get the names mm. of... Uh, of the physics equipment, mm -hmm. and you'll get right. a picture and the description. I well, uh, also in the description. Yeah, oh, yeah, you get nice. a Or uh, no, you don't get a picture actually. Oh, I, I just I get own a description. Only a description. Sorry, ah. I used the picture around. So no. False hope, eh? Ah, no, but uh, it's easier with the description. Ah, yeah. But uh, are you into physics, or? Uh, I would say, just go ahead. <laughs> ah, just go ahead. Okay, then we can uh, we can roll. Okay, so the pieces of equipment are the chronometer, the seismograph, the barometer, the manometer, the cardiogram, the endoscope, the oscilloscope, the Geiger counter and the inclinometer. Shall we just start the round? Sure. Okay. How many do I need to have right this time? Um, six. Yep. So, the first one. Uh, this device measures pressure of gases. A uh, barometer. This one displays varying electrical voltages. If you want, you can skip this one. Uh. Skip it for now. Okay. And this one just measures pressure. Of uh, mechanical pressure. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> Pause. Okay. Um, this one determines longitude at sea. At sea. Um. No, this round is awful. <laughs> uh, you can skip it. Yeah, maybe, maybe the next one. Sorry. Okay. This one measures radioactivity. Yeah, that's the Kaiker count. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one looks inside a body. Um, endoscope. This one measures the intensity of earthquake shocks. That's a seismograph. Okay. This one traces movements of the heart. That's a cardiogram. Okay, and the last one measures the angle of a slope. Oscilloscope. Okay, and then you have to... Um, okay, so I don't remember, but the first one I didn't have uh, inclinometer, the second one manometer, and the third one chronometer, and I want one joker. One joker. Yep. Okay. So you think you have five correct? <laughs> oh, stop the time. Oh, stop the time. Stop Stop the count, stop the count. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. But you have five correct, you think? Yeah, I think the last ones uh, went pretty decent, but the first yeah, ones okay. I was just a You were pretty stuck. confident at the, at the last ones. Okay, then let's just uh, look at the answers. So, the first one, it measures pressure of gases. That was the manometer. You have, oh yeah, the one was incorrect. Uh, this one displays varying electrical voltages. That was the oscilloscope. It oscillates. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I was now a little confused. And then the third one, it just measures the pressure. It's the barometer. And did I switch also, it? Oh, I didn't uh, switch it up. Oh, no, stupid. I didn't switch. Ah, uh, well, doesn't matter. You are the last one's one pretty well. Uh, this one determines longitude at sea. It's the chronometer. Uh, oh, that one was correct. Nice. Um, it measures radioactivity, the Geiger counter. And also correct. Nice. Uh, the last, next one uh, looks inside a body. That's the endoscope. Also correct. Ooh, okay. Uh, it measures the intensity of earthquake shocks, the seismograph. 
Another correct answer. And it traces movements of the heart. A cardiogram. And all right, that's correct. Yeah. You already passed. And then lastly, we have the device that measures the angle of a slope, the inclinometer. And uh, our inc oh, but you used the uh, the right amount of uh, of uh, jokers. Well, that's that's pretty nice. So you're uh, through to the third round. How does oh. it feel? Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bit uh, stressed. No, I wasn't you expecting to <laughs> to do well at all. Oh, okay. I, I, I was just coming here like. Oh, no, you're doing yeah, pretty well. We'll see. You can be proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, be proud. Okay. Um, usually, when talking about quantities, we mean amounts. Like when Tim from the math question buys 54 watermelons in the supermarket. But in this case, we are talking about something else entirely. Here are nine units that belong to a physical quantity. So you see nine units. Yes. And, and you give me a description. I um, just give the name of the physical quantity. Yeah. Fair. So, uh, for example, distance would be one, but it's uh, not one of them. Ah, so, I'll bet. But the units are on the screen. Yes, and then I now need seven. Yeah, seven. And you have two jokers, uh, yes. the two uh, left. Okay, so the units are ohm, gray, Kelvin, Coulomb, Lux, Pascal, Volt, Ampere, and Becquerel. Yes. Are you, uh, do you think you'll do well? Uh, I think I remember some from physics. Yeah, of course. You know the Binos? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You studied it. Lovely uh, You know Binos. everything in the Binos, right? By heart, of By course. By heart, okay. So you get nine, <laughs> uh, you'll get ten out of nine, right? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's start the round then. Yep. So the first one is electric potential. Uh, Coulomb. Then we have temperature. Oh wait, I'm. A, a temperature that's Kelvin. Then we have pressure or mechanic potential. Pascal. Electric current. Current is ampere. And the illuminance. So with light. That's the lux. And radioactivity. Aquarel. And or absorbed radioactive dose. Ooh, gray. Or other way around, I don't know. Well, uh, no, no, I just want? Let's, uh, let's okay, keep it like this. Uh, resistance. Uh, ohm. And electric charge. That's Coulomb, and where I said Coulomb, it's fault. Stop the time. Stop the time. Okay. What do you feel about this? Ah, uh, not too great, but it could be. It could have gone worse. You want to use a lifeline, maybe, or? Um, ah, it's a third round, eh? Ah, just do one joker. We'll see. Uh, one, one lifeline. Yep. Okay. Then um, we'll look at the answers right now. So the first one, electric potential, that was volt. So you swap that around, uh, I believe. So that's correct. Then we have temperature, and temperature is measured in Kelvin. It's correct as well. Uh, the pressure or mechanic potential is Pascal. It's correct. The electric current is measured in Ampere. Also correct. Illuminance is measured in Lux or Lumen. Correct, yeah. Radioactivity, that's Becquerel. That's correct. And then radi absorbed radioactive dose is the gray. Also correct, so we already have seven, that's really nice. Then resistance is ohm. And that means you also have electric charge, which is Coulomb. So you have yeah. nine answers. You already said 10 out of nine. 10 out of, yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> Well, okay. Coincidence. And, uh, you have 69 seconds yes. left, I see. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you get one uh, extra lifeline for having nine correct answers. So, uh, we're uh, back. But you did lose, uh, lose uh, 16 seconds. Yes. It's a shame. But, um, well, do you want to play the fourth round? It's all in. Ooh, that's a difficult one. <coughs> I have a little less than uh, a quarter of my seconds left, so... Yeah. Ah, screw it, all or nothing. I all or nothing, I'm, okay, I'm sure I like I, it. I'm I like sure it. I will get the Throwing clock. for content, I like it. 
Fuck bit, man. Okay. In more recent years, scientists have discovered that it turns out that dinosaurs look quite differently than we initially thought. The mighty T-Rex, for example, turns out to be an ancestor to the chicken. This would mean that the T-Rex would be more bird-like than reptilic. But back then, we did not have the technology that we have today, and every assumption was made based on the skeleton. In this round, we will see that animals can look quite different than from what their skull suggests. Here are nine animals on the screen, mm -hmm. and you will see a picture of nine skulls. You see nine pictures of skulls, and you have to match the correct animal with the skull. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, do you have uh, two lifelines? I'll just uh, read out the animals. So we have the cat, the hippopotamus, the falcon, the human, the chimpanzee, the dog, the toucan, lion and eagle. We want to play? Shall we start? Well, yeah, sure. Okay, then, uh, then let's roll. I would guess the human. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's... Dog. That's a very tiny skull. Um, cat. This is going to be a tough round. I just take your time. Hippopotamus. Um, you have to watch I, your time a bit. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna <laughs> get this round anyway. Uh, yeah, I think I already uh, switched it up. This is the hippopotamus, and the other one was a uh, chimpanzee. Um, eagle. Uh, toucan. Falcon and a lot. Oh. Yeah, that, ah, that's the oh, toucan. Yeah, but ah, we're out of yeah time. anyway. Ah. <laughs> that's very yeah. obviously the toucan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I just like the skull. Uh, really pretty skull. Well, I love it. Sadly, you, did not, uh, you didn't have enough time. But let's, uh, let's look at the answers, the correct answers first. Okay, so uh, this one is the human. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pretty recognizable. So you have that one correct. Then we have the dog. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you got that one correct. The cat, small skull indeed. The cats are really small. And the lion. Oh, there was a lion. Looks a bit like the cat is just uh, bigger. And then the hippopotamus has huge teeth. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then the eagle. And the falcon. Mm -hmm. And this is the toucan with its pretty beak. And then the chimpanzee. Yes. Ah, you were stressing in that round. Ah. Because I feel like you could. Ah, I, I was a little short on time, and I was. Yeah, it's true. Ah. But uh, nevertheless, uh, thank you for joining us, and we have a nice award oh. for you. Clonky. A, li a little clock, yeah, a clock. Yes. Are you happy with that? Of course. Ah, okay. I'm glad. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining yes. us. It was nice to have you as a guest. Um, today's viewer question, the answer is Pope John Paul II. Thank you for watching and see you next time.